Hello everybody, welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot. Difficulty level is hard and I'm going to show you 11 shots here and how to get any of the chests there but hopefully to get you as close as possible. Before we start, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, be a sub here on YouTube, hit that bell button so you get a notica notification every time there's a live stream or a new video coming up. Also, live from today, www.golfclashtommy.com. Join in there, take a look at the different features. It's a site which uh, where I've added my videos. It's hard today to, you know, when having so many videos on YouTube, to have a way to search for it in a good way. That website's going to be able to get you help when it comes to tour play, also tournament play, but also uh, the golden shot and also an easier way to get in contact with me myself and my team check it out link in the video description down below also something that is new for this uh, round of the golden shot there is a link in the video description down below to an imger folder where you can find adjustment for you know the wind and the rain rings and then you do have you know the golden shot, uh, short iron adjustments you also have the landing position you also have the spin adjustment which i'm going to show here in the end of the video so you can download it yourself print it out if you do want to have it besides you or on the computer or phone tablet or whatever so it's going to help you to get the golden shot so we are going to start by going into the social hub you can see that uh, the golf clash team here has been uh, adding a way like an, an, a quick easy guide on where they think is the best place to bounce the ball and this is a very nice addition to the golden shot because we haven't had this before I do strongly advise to watch the video still to get the detailed adjustment because you don't really get close by just knowing where the ball should bounce the spin adjustment is the key combined with the elevation adjustment that we're playing with but very nice addition and you can find it on the social hub so we're gonna go in here Golden shot once again, we're gonna go into the hard one. Yeah, we will see hole number four of the Name Cliffs, uh, like hole number four from the Clift of Blinks tournament, which is a course of the Name Cliffs. You can win the Obsidian chest as a hole in one. We do have the Amber chest as the Yellow Ring, Crimson chest as the Red Ring. Oh, then we do have the Aqua chest as the Light Blue, uh, and then we do have the Cobalt chest as the Darker Blue one. Press the question mark if you do want to get more information about the golden short or have you know the frequently asked questions if that is not enough you press contact us on the top right and then you will be able to send in a ticket to support then let's take a look at the adjustments here and first we're gonna start looking that direction to golden short iron maximum distance with a 30% over adjustment which is also 1.2 per ring so the thing that I've done to get the 1.2 per ring is that I've been add uh, adding already the 30% into the ring adjustment so just um, just making a max distance short iron won't get you to where you want reason that I'm making an over adjustment here is that I'm gonna come to that later sometimes we do need to change the elevation adjustment from what we normally use because we're using a different setup and then a different elevation adjustment will suit that setup better on top here and it's going to make it easier for yourself to follow and for those of you that do not use any calculator or any other help tool then you can find it very easily. You can see the wind starts at 5.0, ends at 8.0. And that means, as you can see here on the top left, you can see the wind 5 to 8. That's the wind that we're going to have in this golden shot. It's not going to be lower, it's not going to be stronger. And I made it easy for you to follow. So if the if the wind on the screen when you take your shot says 6.6 .6 miles per hour, then you play 5.6 rings. So you can just follow that sheet very easily and then you don't have to have anything more than that sheet. Okay, so landing position here then. This is going to be a tough one to actually replicate to 100%. The easy part is that we're going to start with looking at the red ring by the rough line. The top of the red ring by the rough line with the white ring just by the line before the bunker. That's a good start, but then we need to take a look at where the second bounce is going to be. As the ball guideline is very bad on the golden short iron, we do need to try to visualize where it's going to bounce. We do want to look 
for the ball guideline to be one green square to the right of the pin. That's what we're looking for when going to set up a shot. We're gonna come to that later also in the end because now it's time to make the video rolling. So let's go, shot number one. And as always, when it comes to the shots here, I'm going to go through the shots with you and then we're going to summarize it in the end. Half a bar of topspin, you can see we have 7.7. .7. I make it easy for myself and I play with 7.8 as you can see on the on the table there on the, on the top left here on the screen. So I play it 6.6 .6 rings. And I'm using a little bit of topspin in headwind as we're otherwise going to come short and uh, that's going to be very important. But you can see here that I'm, I didn't use 6.6. .6. What did I do? It's because I played with a different elevation adjustment. As a start, I played with a different elevation adjustment to try to dial that one in, but didn't feel satisfied to that. So in the end, we still got there. And this, uh, this is added due to what I said before. You can play with a different elevation adjustment. You can just use that for a different setup and it's still might work. It doesn't have to be wrong just because you have a different elevation setup. So 6.3, we do have a little tailwind. The landing position is the key. We do want to move more to the right here. You can see we are only like a half a green square to the right of the pin, not more than that. And that is something that we do need to really look at. We cannot just wing it and put up our target there. We need to be fast. We need to get there so we can have time then to adjust our shot. So, our shot is going to be adjusted. You can see that I'm not uh, using a lot of backspin whatsoever here. I'm using a little bit. And in Tailwind, we're always going to use some backspin. And once again, that's going to be shown on the screen in the end of the video, what spin adjustment I'm going to use for the various type of wind. We're coming in here though, and we just, just roll down and we take the yellow ring, which is a nice one, you know, that's always something that we do want to do. And once again, the adjustment isn't exactly the same as I want to, and we're gonna come to that. It's 11 shots in there, and as always, when I work with the golden shot, it's always important to start somewhere. Then we work from there, make minor tweaks to get to the result that we're satisfied with. The goal for me always in the golden shot is to find one spot with our landing position where we then can just use the same elevation then same type of minimum or medium or maximum distance and then only change the spin. If we can get to that, I think we do have a good guide and it's going to be as easy as possible to replicate. When we do have different landing positions or we maybe have different elevation adjustment, I know me myself at least would mess up my adjustments more than I otherwise would do because it's hard to remember everything and we do have 30 se seconds to make a decision play so here we come in here we get close get in get in oh so close so close so close i really do feel that this is going to be a good one when it comes to making some hole in ones so once again let me know in the comments if you do make a good hole in one also if you did get any of the other sheds let me know in the comments below so 5.6 we do have a little bit tailwind and also crosswind, so kind of an in-between win. We're looking for the one green square to the right, red ring by the rough line, white ring by the sand line, and then going to use a little bit of backspin. You can see I'm using like around half a bar of backspin with half a bar of side spin to the left. 5.6, we'll look at the table here on top, uh, and we do have 4.7 rings, is what we're going to do. You can see we line up there with the ball on the take shot button, we adjust, and then we're going to take our shot. So that's kind of, it's perfect what we wanted to. Then we will see, is the spin correct for us or do we have to tweak it from that distance? Okay, we're coming in very nicely. We take that little hump there and we get so close. We get so close and we get the yellow ring again. And then you maybe wonder, how can I get so many yellow rings? It's because I'm using all my different accounts. And then I also buy shots to be able to provide this guide. I normally play around 30 to 50 shots, which I buy myself to be able to provide this guide for you all. So now we do have 7.4. We first line up 
uh, and we're going to be one green square to the right of the pin with the ball guideline and then we're going to use backspin here it's very important one bar backspin is what we do want we do also want a little bit of side spin to the left so i would say half a bar of side spin to the left should be fine 7.4 is as you can look here once again on top 6.3 rings and then we're going to take our shot so the structure that i'm following landing position is number one number two is to then add the spin and when that is done we're going to and we're going to take a look at how much we do need to adjust and then we take our shot so yellow ring here once again we're getting close we are getting close we're getting the zoom in and hopefully that's going to reward us soon enough for a uh, uh, hole in one 7.0 now we do have crosswind interesting so now we need to use a little bit more side spin to the left as the ball is going to be automatically kicked more to the right due to the crosswind a little bit of backspin i'm using one and a half bar side spin to the left one and a half bar is a little bit too much but once again we have the same structure we find the landing position that i showed in the beginning then we add spin so we always start from the same landing position 7.0 is 5.9 rings and then we're gonna take our shot hit perfect always important to hit perfect we bounce there on the fairway we roll we roll get in a little bit too much so what do we do here then you know distance wise we are very good and i'm gonna come to why uh, you know why i feel distance wise is good when we're not getting in in the hole but the side spins a little bit too much so one point a smidge like 1.2 bar side spin to the left is what we do need when we do have an absolute straight crosswind but we go ahead and play 7.6 in some tailwind and crosswind one green square to the right of the pin and you can see i'm using one bar side spin when i when i do have an in between win around 70 0 0.75 in backspin you can hear here you can hear all the details that i'm talking about and it might confuse you but that's that's why we do have the guide that's why we do have the tools to, <clears throat> to get you there no curl whatsoever and we take our shot and the ball is going to bounce and it's going to bounce and it's going to roll and gonna get very very close oh my god you know you can't stop shorter than that you can't stop shorter than that but the thing that I will have to add, uh, which is very important with this hole, is that you do rather want to come in a little bit short. If you do just come in a little bit too hot, like using too little uh, backspin or you're even using too much topspin when we do have headwind, like this type of wind, then you're going to roll off all the rings. Like you're, you're not even going to stay close to, to uh, all the rings there. So it's very important that even if you do not make like a 100% adjustment it is important though that you're making an adjustment that at least get you one ring would you have one free shot and if you don't want to spend money on the golden shot it is super important that you spend uh, that free shot wisely so here we can see we uh, are going to have a 5.7 in wind and we played that one 4.9 rings and would you have a little headwind and that this little headwind here is going to be uh, a nice one. I really like this ball coming in. Ah, ha, 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 ha. ah so close, so close once again. And we're getting there. We are getting there. But in the end, we had some in between wind. We do need to compensate with some side spin here to be able to do well. And now we're going to come into uh, five point nine. And we're going to have a headwind crosswind type of wind and now we're going to first use the landing position here and we are going to use that one we take our time one bar side spin to the left as we do have an in between wind and then we're going to play with no backspin no top spin as well we do have a headwind and a crosswind that it's perfect to not use any top or any backspin then we play 5.9 is going to be 5.1 rings hit the ball perfect and it's going to bounce on the fairway up here and it's roll and it's roll get in then yes uh, there we got our first hole in one nice yay so we got the obsidian chest here on this account which is nice and we're going to open the chest and see what we got 
the down in one and we did get some Saturn cards we also got the Goliath which is good the sand lizard isn't really that super good the Falcon is okay and then we got the nine berserkers and that's what we're looking for mostly the balls that's so important now we do have this a similar type of win and this was actually the shot directly after the hole in one and we do have a similar type of win then we're going to try to replicate and see like a good thing with the same type of win is to see that does the adjustment work or is it just that we were lucky because we can try to replicate an adjustment and still you know maybe miss but if we replicate an adjustment and we get it in the hole again that means that we are on track for something really good with our guide so we are going to play uh, this one the same one bar side spin no backspin, no topspin coming in very nicely and we dropped the second hole in one here in this video also the second hole in one on this um, on this account and here you can see as I already got the hole in one and still got a hole in one again I got the aqua chest which is the only chest that I have left two apocalypse cards which is nice if you would be having like the yellow ring left but still got the hole in one then you get the yellow ring once you do um, once you do you know make a hole in one again 5.7 now we do have other direction and we're going to uh, set it up here and you see i was very close to uh, forget the spin one bar side spin no top no back spin 5.7 4.9 is what we're gonna do here like 4.9 rings is what we're going to do and then we're gonna focus on hitting the ball perfect So in the bounce there on the fairway, getting up here and it rolls and we get that one in the hole as well. Very, very nicely. This is a golden shot where you can find yourself winning a lot of good, uh, good uh, a lot of berserker balls and also maybe some good cards. Maybe you unlock the apocalypse if you are lucky. So we're gonna go into summarize. Wind and, and rings you do have on the top left and um, so Follow that, it's going to work. It's based on golden short iron, maximum distance with a 30% over adjustment. For those uh, that do not know what that is, don't mind it. You know, you don't have to learn that just now, but you know, something to maybe look into. 1.2 per ring is it with the 30% included. And we're gonna take the landing position here again. Red ring by the rough line, white ring by the sand line. And then we do have the ball guideline should point one green square to the right of the pin. Super important. And this spot is where you start. So the structure is landing position, spin, then you adjust and you take your shot. Very important. So you're not starting with spin, then landing position, because then you're going to be uh, tough to replicate the one green square to the right of the pin. And you're most likely going to get a different result. Very important with the structure. So, and we are going to take a look at the spin here in the end. Tailwind, one bar backspin and half a bar of side spin to the left. And when we do have a tailwind and crosswind left to right, 0.75 bars backspin. And what that means is that it's not going to be one, a little bit less than one bar backspin and one bar side spin uh, to the left. Then would you have a tailwind crosswind right to left? Same type of backspin, but one bar of side spin to the right instead because we have the wind other direction. Crosswind left to right, 0 0.2 bars backspin, so just a smidge of backspin and 1.2 bars side spin to the left. Crosswind right to left, 0 0.2 bars backspin once again and 1.2 bars side spin to the right. Headwind and crosswind left to left it says, but it should be left to right obviously. <laughs> one bar side spin to the left and then we have headwind crosswind right to left, one bar side spin to the right. Headwind. Half a bar of top spin and half a bar of side spin to the left. And that is for a straight headwind. Once again, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this guide. Check out golfclashtommy.com for uh, more guides and uh, more information about this game. Also, the all the tools here are not the tools, but like the, the spin, the wind rings, the, the adjustment. You can find that in the link in the Imgur folder that you can click on in the video description down below. If you can't click on it, copy paste it in your browser and you will get there. Let me know in the comment section below what you got in your shot. If you liked the video, take your time and hit thumbs up as well. I will. Uh, 
uh, <laughs> I would be there to help you out. Thank you so much once again, and good luck in the golden shot.